In my course on brief writing, I stress one point. Neither I nor anyone else can teach you how to write. Rather, my goal is to raise your awareness and make you think about what works, what doesn't, and why. Think of this as a consciousness-raising session. My ambition is to make a lawyer think about writing. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Many lawyers lose an opportune moment to grab the reader's attention by posing a plain vanilla question such as the following. Now, this question may be accurate, but it does little to educate the reader or pique his or her interest. I suggest posing a question that actually educates the reader and compels an answer. This question not only tells the reader more about the case, it actually compels an answer. How could an employee who is guilty of six disqualifying acts actually be entitled to benefits? He can't. The question answers itself. In this version, I identify the six disqualifying acts, thus setting the stage for the argument. Now, some may find that this question is too detailed. Others may agree that it hits the nail on the head. There's no right or wrong in this field. The purpose of these examples is to make you think about how you can fine-tune your writing and improve your accuracy. Many lawyers write frightfully dull statements of facts that are little more than witness-by-witness -witness summaries of the evidence. In response, the courts have promulgated rules imploring lawyers not to provide witness-by-witness -witness summaries. In my CLE course, I explore various ways to use chronologies to your benefit. I recommend the use of timelines and charts to turn a meandering recitation into a coherent narrative. I further identify the building blocks of any story and explain how one might ascertain a central conflict to tell a story. In all of this, I stress the fact that brevity is the soul of wit. One should ruthlessly discard unnecessary facts. Furthermore, in an appellate brief at least, one should identify the strongest three or four issues and concentrate on these. Appellate courts hate shotgun approaches to appellate briefs. If you're interested in exploring these and many, many other issues, sign up for my next CLE course. For more information on times, check out the course schedule on the Jenkins Law Library website.